Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, we're going to do the stitching. Um, so I have to figure out my angle here. Um, so I need to cut my thread. Um, do you have the thread? Where, where's the thread? Somebody, it's right. Right here. Oh yeah. Um, so once again, I cut about the same number. Let's see, I have eight signatures. Um, by the way, you can make signatures like you could have eight signatures of 16 pages, and then you know you might have another signature of eight pages if that's the number of pages you need in a book. Um, but you wouldn't have any any random number of pages, right? You would have something that somewhat divides by four or by eight. Okay, hopefully I have enough. Um, so if I was using um, if I was using bands like like this guy here, um, there's actually a tool in the back. We have it where I would be putting. These, um, these stripes, um, and I would have these stripes actually um, standing up like this, and they would be tied up to a bar at the top, and so that would make my life a lot easier actually, and this would make the books much stronger, and then these would stick out a little bit on my back. Um, so I don't have that now, but that's what a book binding device that's in the back um, does, and uh, what we actually do. So for now, we just have to uh, you know, improvise a little bit. So, let's see. I hope, let me do something else too. Um, I think this is going to make it a little more. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted to move the paper. All right, so, um, so now the trick is to keep things straight. Not straight in the sense of like angles, but straight in the sense of sequence, to like don't get confused and get lost. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do is, I, try, I like to have my piles um, kind of set up in such a way that I do repetitive movements. So what I can do, for example, is I can take this and I can flip it, and I can set my pile on the left here Okay, and then every time I take a new signature, I just flip it on top of the next one. Okay, that's just a trick that I do. That way I know it's, it's going to be in the right sequence. Okay, so I'm just going to do exactly that. And uh, also just for kicks, what I can do is mark my first page. I can put a number here and I can say that's my number one page. And uh, okay, 8 times 8, 64. So... That's my number 64, okay? By the way, that's one reason why the first page of your first signature is page number one. That's why the pages on the right of the book are always odd numbered pages. You never have a right, a, an even numbered page on the right side. The, odd, the even number page is always on the left side. So in other words, this would be my number one, and then this would be my number two. This would be my number three and so forth. So two and three, two is on the left and three is on the right. That's always the case. Um, all right. So, so I start, so in my case, I just do this. I just flip it and I have page 64 um, be facing me. So let's just say basically I'm starting from the back. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. We'll see. Um, uh, so I take that, now I take my thread, and it might get a little, you know, it might get a little tangled up, and that's why actually if you had um, beeswax, 
and you would, uh, you know, uh, point it with it, it would be a little easier to uh, manage. Uh, but just try, you know, do your best. Try not to, try not to do what I just did, which is drop it. Um, so you thread your needle, okay, and leave it maybe six inches, okay, um, and start from the first signature. Hey guys, you have to tell me if I'm off the frame. Um, go like this, okay? So let's start again. Let's go from the middle. And then you go to the next one, okay, inside. So remember, the thread only shows inside. It doesn't show outside. So outside, you don't jump from hole to hole. You jump only to the next signature up. Okay, so that's about um, what you want here, okay? So now, my problem is, my problem is that I'm going to, okay, so the next thing now I do is, once you have done that trick, um, let me just point this out. So now you've gone in from the middle, right? Um, once we do two, then it'll be easier. Okay, so now you've done the first one. You've gone in from the outside to the middle. You have gone inside and come out the, the next hole. So now the thing is you can't go anywhere else because you'll be going outside. So what you do now is you go to the next signature and you plop the next signature on top, okay? And you go into the hole that corresponds in the next signature and you go inside from the back. Okay, did you get that? So, so now I'm going into the next signature. Can't really see it. Okay. All right. So now I'm, I'm on hole number, let's see, if I were to mark this, this would be one, two, let's call this three, let's call this four, let's call this five. Okay. So I started on number one and now I'm going into number two from the outside. So you see, you're going to have to work on two signatures at the same time. Okay? It will, be, it will get clear once. Do you go into hole number two on signature number two? Yeah, so let's, uh, let's repeat this. And actually, I can do a little sketch. Um, I, I meant to do this. Um, so what you're doing is, you have signatures, right? And you have your holes. Okay? So that's the outside. So that's, let's call this one, two, three, four, and five. It doesn't matter. So what I'm doing is, this is signature number one and this is signature number two. So what I do is, I go in from the outside in the middle. I wrap around inside and I come out. But now I can't go on the outside here. So what I do is I go up to the next signature, and then I go around this way. Okay? So basically I have two signatures in the works at any given time. So this is signature number one. I've gone in, I came to the next hall, I came out, and then I only go into the, into the next signature, okay? And then in the next signature, I keep going to the outside. I keep going this way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in into my lower signature, come around this way, go up again into the upper signature, come around, and then tie a knot here. So now it looks a little confusing, but... Um, <laughs> But I'll do it again. You'll see. Okay. So again, I'll, I'll do this again. So you go in the first signature, you go to the side inside, you come out, you go back in into the upper signature, wrap around inside, and then go in into the previous signature, wrap around, Go back in, 
inside and come out. And then you tie a knot. So let's try that. It would be easier if you could see it right on, but um, if you guys want to come and see here what I'm doing, but I think it's about the same <laughs> level of, okay? So, yeah, the problem is you can't really see the thread. So don't pull anything yet. And whatever you pull, don't pull out this way, okay? Don't do that. Pull always this way. In other words, pull with the length of the book. Don't pull away from the book uh, vertically. All right? So now I'm going into my outer hole in my upper signature. And at some point, you're going to start to pull your thread. So again, see what I'm doing now? I'm going to pull sideways. There you go. And you can do it pretty hard. You won't hurt it. Okay, so now, the problem is the lighting is in the wrong place. So now, okay, so maybe I can show it this way. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. We're getting better here. Okay, so, so here it is. So I, I went in below. I went inside around. Right? That's inside. Then out, when I come out, I have to go to the next signature. Once I am in the next signature, I keep going to the outside, inside, and then I come out. And now I'm just going to do the back, the, the back way. I'm just going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go back inside in the lower signature, go to this hole, come out, go up, go inside this way, and then come out here. And when I get here, I'm going to make a knot. Okay? So let's see if you can get to this. Are you all at this step? Yeah. Yeah, everybody? Okay, great. So if you do that, then again, you can start tightening a little bit. So now I have to move this, otherwise I can't do it. So now I just go in. And it's a little hard because, yeah, that saw was not thick enough. Um, so now when you when you are inside, you will see that, well, I have no choice. Now, my only choice on my second signature is to go back to that little hole there, right? To the next one. Okay? And then I go like that. And now things are going to start to tighten, and that would be good. You don't want to have your signature kind of like all bouncing around. So now I do, what I do is I pull, okay, I pull this way, and there, I, I'm, there's simply the fact that the friction is going to help them in place. Okay, so now again, I'm on the outside. I can't go sideways because I don't want to see my thread. I don't want to see my thread anywhere outside. I only want to see it inside. So I go back into my upper signature, okay, into number two, like that. And then inside, okay, again, I have no choice but to go into the next hole, which is my center hole. And that's it. And, then, and that's done now. That's my first half of my first two signatures. So now I'm going to make a knot. On the outside? On the outside. So all your knots are going to be on the outside. And you do that after you have tightly uh, pulled your thread, okay? You can do a double knot, but one knot is enough. Okay. So, once again, you go in, first signature, you, you wrap around, you come out, not hole number two, you go up to the second signature, you come around, you come out, you go under, come around, go up again, and that's it. Shay, come on, you only have two signatures. I know. Okay? Yeah, we're gonna trim it. Really yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so are we all there? Is the... 
the middle one, number is that number one? Yeah. Is there supposed to be one that connects them? Or is it supposed to be open like that? You see how they're, these two are connected? You're done. Yeah, okay. you're done. Just make a knot. Yeah, just pull it sideways. Don't pull it out. Like just pull, yeah. yeah. Well, in your case, you pull them both the same direction because they're both coming from the right side. Okay, so we're all on the same uh, signature? <laughs> no? So you should have completed, and then you check it. Basically, then you open your signature and you look, oh, this looks pretty good. Nothing funny. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, okay, so to check it, you just open it, and then if your thread is nice and clean, and it's going the length of the holes, then that's it. Next time I'm going to use black thread, because it's hard for you guys to see, but... So basically I've covered half of my book now, right? Just, just half. Okay, so once you're outside again in the middle, then you start all over. Then you go, you go back to your first signature, signature number one. So I'm going in, going sideways, and now I'm going to go a little faster. Okay, now I go up to the signature. Okay, now there is one thing I could do now, which is I could go back to the center. That would be a big mistake. Instead, what I want to do is I want to go towards the outside. So you go back in through the center after you tie Later, the knot. after you come back. But you, right after you tie the knot, you go back into the center. Yes, you go back into the center, into the, privi into the lower signature, right? Okay, yeah. So, again, I go outside. No, don't cut anything. Yeah. Then I go back into my bottom signature. Okay. And now it's just logical. Now you have no place to go but only in the holes that are visible. So when you say bottom signature, you mean the first signature, like the number one. Well, in your case, yeah. <laughs> So you're starting fresh now? On the middle. So yeah, so go through. back in the middle, on the bottom one. But you've got to open it, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Well. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, I'm now I think I'm <laughs> uh, let me just finish mine here. Okay, so I'm going back in. It's easy. And then I go back into the middle. And I'm done with the first two signatures. Okay. And then I pull, and again I pull sideways. Okay, I pull this way, not this way, this way. And then I hold my signatures down with my hand while I make the knot. That way the tightness stays. Okay, so these are my first two. And actually, I did a bad job because it's not tight enough. There you go. Well, anyway. Then we tie another knot. Yeah, and then you tie another knot. So, who, who's uh, not uh, doing it right? <laughs> okay, so um, I just have to repeat it. Um, you go in from the first one. Okay. So, you go in from the middle one. Then you come out, and then you go inside, you come out, and you go up to the next one. Then you go to the f outside, you come out, you go back in into the lower one, and invert the process. So it's, um, it's this kind of thing. You go in, you go like, uh, let's see, no. Right. 
all the signatures are connected in the same. So anyway, it's this process. Again, you go in like this, then you go up into the next one. Then you go to this one, then you tie that one, then you go into this one like this, and then you make a knot. So it's like a figure eight. Okay? Um, why don't we do this? Since a couple of people are not quite doing it right, why don't you bring it here and I can show it and we can show it on the video so that everybody else can see it. So um, there is one more trick I need to show you when you do your next two signatures. You need to um, hook the next signature together here, okay, at this point. So um, give me a minute until I take care of the ones that, let me see, that looks, you have to end up, no, that's not right. You have to end up with your thread on the outside. Okay. So something is wrong. So if you end up with the thread on the inside, that's not right. Uh, you're done. Just make a knot. Oh, like that. Yeah, okay. just make a knot. Right oh, here. okay. But you shifted your signatures. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. See this? Oh, they're, okay. they're not lining up your holes. So that's, that's a problem. Because now you have to like jump back and forth. Yeah. So I would do it over again. I would do it over. Okay. How do I keep them from shipping? Well, because you flip them. We cut them, remember? Yeah. And you move them around, and now they're not sitting in the same oh, position as they were when we cut them. Oh, I see. I see. That's why I said don't, don't, don't move them around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else need a hand? Uh, Sima, are you okay? Okay. Great. So now, basically, I just need to show you one more trick, which is the part here when you get to this side that you're going to have to do this little loop, okay? Uh, but that's really it because from now on you just keep repeating the process. So now I flip uh, my next signature and again it, it helps me that I'm doing this. I started out with my signature like this and now I'm flipping them like that. Uh, so I bring my next signature, and I'm outside, and I go in the middle again. So if, if you hold it like this, hold your signatures like this when you're actually threading the, the middle. It, it helps to open it up. Okay. So I go in, in the middle one, and I go to the side. Okay. So loosely, and then I go to my next one. Oops. Oh no, wait a minute, I don't have a next one, that's right. So now I need to bring my fourth signature in because there's nowhere to go. So I need to bring my fourth signature. Oh, and here's the trick. Yeah, this is the tricky part. So what's happening now is that I have two signatures which are completed, and I'm going to do two more. But now, when I just did this step, okay, now theoretically I'm going to go to the next one, right? But if I do that, this, this set of signatures is going to be loose. So before I do that, I have to loop my thread and hook into the signatures below, right here. You see that? Okay, so I'm sticking. I'm sticking the needle right between the two previous signatures. And see how I do that. I have to grab them. I can't remember if I do that actually could be done. Could be done later. Hold on. Um, yeah, hold on. That can be done later. Never mind. So so basically I'm just repeating the process. Don't do it, yeah, because I realize I can do it on my way back. Yeah. So now I put the next one in, and I go in. I go to the outside. Okay. So now I start pulling. Um, but now I do have to do this. Now on the very edge here, I do have to thread my needle here because otherwise I'll, I'll never, I'm never com coming back to that point. So I thread. 
So I don't know if you can see it, but I, yeah, so um, let me see if I can show it. All right. So what I did was I, I took the needle and I put it in here. Okay. I stuck it, I put it in between the, the two previous sets, okay, the two signatures. And then I, I just simply came around this way. You see that? And that way it loops and it connects to the two signatures below. Okay, now I can start tightening things up. And again, by pulling sideways, I'm in pretty good shape. It's not going to get messed up. So now it's pretty tight. Um, now I have to go into the signature, which is number three, uh, which you can find out by opening your pages. Okay, which one do I have to go in? That's the only one that's not done yet. So you find your spot. Uh, which is hard because my holes are not thick enough. Big enough. Okay. Now my thread is getting all messed up. Okay, now at this point, uh, that's when I'm gonna. Shoot, I just cut my thread. Ah! Oh man, that's bad. Pull too hard. Okay, sorry. Bear with me for a second. See, the whole book is ruined because now I'm gonna see this little joint. Joint part here. Okay. I mean, if you miss a signature, meaning like if you forget to loop the um, thread on the signature below, you can always go back, but it's cleaner if you do it. Okay, so after we're done, we're done with all the stitching, we're going to put uh, the end pages on. And I like to do that so that we can uh, put the end pages and put the gauze um, around it. And so it's ready for the next step. Uh, can you still see? Hey. So now I'm back, yeah. Now I'm back in the middle and I make my other knot. All right, so I'm about halfway through my book. <laughs> Not quite. Um, so the end result is that, you know, this should be nicely tight, you know. Your stitches should be nicely tight and taut, I guess is the other word. And, um, and here's a little bit loose right here. See, that's, that's not good. But I'm rushing. What? What happens if they're too Well, it's just not as strong, and the, you know, and the pages will you know, not be as resistant mm -hmm. to you know, tear. And it might, might not, well, it will open OK, but.
So now you have to go to the outside. Because if you don't go there, then you're stuck. Then right. you have no way of going back. Okay. Yeah. And then from from there, you jump in back into the lower signature. Lower one right there? Right here. No, right you here. don't want to go across here at okay. all. Okay. Okay? Oh, okay. oh you should have left the way more. I don't think so. Okay. Uh huh. Always go between the first and the second after every Now you go the Well, you, you just don't want to leave any loose signatures. Okay. So you can understand that if you did your two sets, your two pairs independently, they would just float at that right. point. But when you get to like the fifth and the sixth signature, do you go back to the fourth or do you go back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you just go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. What? What do you call it? Which stitch are you doing? Well, it's my. I don't know. You call it a Coptic stitch. Coptic? Coptic stitch, okay. You didn't know that. I'm bringing this stuff tomorrow. Okay. I love the fact that you're doing this. Yeah. I didn't get your email until really, really late. Oh, okay. It's teaching technology, so I can't do it, but I'm going to talk to you about this tomorrow. Okay. My Oops. project is making a book for my part two. Okay. Thank you, Pete. All right. Take care. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay. Um, anyway, I made a mistake. I didn't make. I didn't loop around my my bottom signature, so I have to go back. So, again, you see this. So I have two at the bottom and two at the top. But before I go back into my top pair, I'm going to um, I'm going to go here. Okay? In other words, I'm going in between my bottom signature. And that way I connect the two together. Um, yeah, that's it. And then I tighten it and then I can go back in and now I have to find it there. Again, this way, not so hard. Uh, it's, because the holes are so tight, it's not allowing me to pull as much as I should. Uh, then I'm looping again down in the bottom signature, and I'm using the blunt end to go back out. And go back in and it's really loose. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, because once you start doing these loops, there's it's hard to um, it's hard to pull them. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Okay, so I've done half of my book. Oh. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Has everybody actually gotten the rhythm? Right? So when you check it again, you have to have, you know, nice, nice thread going through. You can't really see it, um, but it's all clean. Then the next one is the same, and the next one is the same, except my, about my ugly. Uh, yeah, so now now what you need to do is you need to go oh no, you have to you have to have your other signature. Do you need to do that trick you did at the top or the bottom? But it's okay. Uh, somehow okay, so now you're here, so now bring your other signature and go up. Okay. Yeah. Sorry? That trick you did at the top you have to do at the bottom too, where you try to find your signatures together. You do it at the very bottom. Oh, so yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I went to the bottom one first. I don't understand. I think basically you have two signatures at the top and two at the bottom. So before you actually saw the two at the top, you go at the bottom and, and connect it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Absolutely, yeah. Because otherwise they're going to be loose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Question? No? No, I'm going to see the next. Next step. step. Yeah, you only had two signatures. That was easy. Yeah. I have to do four more. <laughs> Um, but we have time. Actually, the end pages and the uh, and the gauze is going to be quick. Um, okay, so go like that. Then go take this up. Okay, I'm just. Hmm? Yeah. So now I go up on top. I go around. So basically, you have two signatures in the works at any given time. And that's what makes it a little bit of a kind of a little mind game, right? So now, again, I have two, and they're loose, right? So before I actually go back into this one, I have to loop my needle through the ones, the lower ones. Yeah, start. I need like fluorescent thread or something. Yeah, the trick is to press your pages and then pull a little bit. It's patience, guys. I don't know. Anybody saw with a sewing machine? That's a little faster, but it still takes patience. What? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm comparing it to because I, I've done some sewing machine projects, and you know. Which which bottom? Okay. Okay, okay let's let's talk line. let's talk okay, this is the head. head. That's the foot. foot. This is the cut, the trim, and this is the spine. Okay. So okay. the foot when you're trying to secure the the two sets of signatures together, do you do it when the foot at what point do you do that? Well, before you have no chance to go back. <laughs> In other words, before you take your journey back the other way, okay. you have to do that. Otherwise, you know, otherwise you're gonna have to do it the next time around, which is not very clean. I mean, it's possible, but but less um, precise. I keep thinking that the light is my camera. I'm like facing to the light, but the camera is right here. Ah, okay. That took me a while. That um, definitely the screen. See what I'm doing. No. Yeah, that's bad. So See, I'm, I'm actually outside and I'm going in from the. So instead, what I need to do is go up here, loop around, back. There, that's it. What? Now I can go up. Now I go outside. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now I'm, I'm again at the end of my line. Just untangle it a little bit. Yeah, so now I am there. So once again, now I have six signatures, right? So you're at the outside. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, ah, that looks good. So I have six signatures, four are already done and two need to be done. Now what I need to do is I need to take this thread and go back into the lower one. 
But if I do that, I'm stuck because this is all going to be loose. Okay? Um, Martha, right. you see that? So before I go back into the one right before my last, right. That's where I'm at right I, have to, I have to loop around here. Okay. okay? So do you go through the, the bugs? So what I do is I go like this. I take my needle and I stick it in there. Okay? okay? Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, just I just catch the um, okay. I just catch the you know the connection there. Got it. All right, and that's where it gets tricky because actually as soon as you do that, you're not going to be able to tighten it anymore. So, what what helps is if you press down. You see here, what I do now is I'm going to press down, pull my thread lengthwise sideways first. Um, let me just show this is actually kind of important. Um, so before I do that loop thing, I'm going to um, press this down and pull this way, okay? And then I do the loop. Okay? And that's nice and tight now. And then just the simple friction is going to help hold it together. Um, and now I can go back up, I mean down. It's really just a matter of looking, okay, like I can't go there because it's already, it's invisible. Um, okay, so if I look at the signature, well, I'm at the end here and it's already done, so it must be the next signature, the one below. Okay, see, that doesn't have the thread, so that's where I'm going to go. And then again, you see I'm pulling, pulling sideways, always. So now, I kind of have the same, oh no, I've already hooked, okay, I've already connected that. So, do you need something? Yeah, check the right? Yeah. I don't know what it has. No, I have another roll. Uh, somebody took it, but anyway. Okay, and so if you always come out, you know, in the middle and make a knot, then that's a pretty good sign that things are going well, All right? Great, two more to go, okay, so... Actually, I should have my signatures facing this way. The problem with that is that I don't have the light. Ah, now we're getting that. Now I can't do it. I'm not left-handed. Okay, let's just do the last two. So, back in the middle, sideways. Um, loop around in the signature below, so we can't really see it, but I'm, I'm grabbing through, and I'm coming out again. Okay, now I take my last signature. Go in. Go outside. Press down. Um, okay. Loop around again. See, that's that's loose. So I have to go below that to catch it. That's not tight. So now I take. The only place that I can really go, this spot right here, and I try to find it. And I'm getting a little too loose. I think the beeswax actually helps with the tightening, it, it helps to stick. Terrible job. Okay. I've got to be 
careful not to break it again. Everything's floating, so I have a feeling that I didn't do it right where I did. So again, hold it down, press everything down and make a knot. So I'm pressing down with my wrist. So, one half to go. Uh, so, back, back in, uh, it doesn't really matter if I go up or down as long as I, I think, I think. I have more thread than I need it. Okay, so again, I don't know where I am, so I open my pages, I, I see it, and then I can go in. Outside. Um, one final loop. To the lower signature and then the last lap and because I'm rushing you can see my thread is totally loose there it's really bad okay so that's our book Okay, so now one final um, So basically now if I had used so now that I'm done I just cut this okay I cut the thread and then leave a couple of inches um, And just to show you if I would used like uh, ropes to go around my uh, my thread so then the rope would be here, and what, what they do is they take the rope and they fray it into like shape like this, okay? So that's what, that's what my book would look like. Although I wouldn't be gluing the, uh, actually I'm going a little a step ahead. Um, what I would do first actually is put my end sheets like that, right? Once my end sheet is connected to that with a little bit of glue, which I'll show you, then that cord would get, you know, done like this. And that would really strengthen the book, right? And again, that cord would be what gives that nice little rib 